Hi, I'm Mayor Joe Curtatoni, and I'm running to continue serving as the Mayor of Somerville. It's been my honor over the years to work on behalf of the people of this city, and I thank you for that honor. I was born and raised in Somerville, and I truly love this city. Now, that doesn't make me unique. Whether you've been here your whole life or you're a new arrival, people fall hard for Somerville. Our neighborhoods, our city squares, our city events, it's a place where you can enjoy a life well lived. We embrace everybody. No matter what it is that might make you feel different somewhere else, we've got a place for you in Somerville. We also do more than any other city I know. You can see it on a quick trip around town. We're building a new Somerville High School. We're replacing sewer lines that date back to the 1800s in Union Square. We have the Green Line extension under construction, which is going to return rail transit to the heart of our city. We've got the new art farm coming together over by Brick Bottom and Prospect Hill Park undergoing a major renovation. Up in Assembly Square, they've broken ground for the new Puma North American headquarters and a brand new life sciences tower is about to get underway in Union Square. I know it's a lot. Like I said, we do a lot. We've never subscribed to the notion that we can't get big or important things done. And it's always been driven by our community values of commitment to each other and doing right by everyone. We've made unprecedented investments in our schools, increasing our school budget by more than 70% since I first became mayor. We made sure an era of prosperity has benefited the children of our city. My sons go to better schools than I went to, which is the way it's supposed to be. But in too many other places, it doesn't work that way. And the Green Line extension reflects our commitment to a safer, cleaner mode of transportation. It will eliminate tens of thousands of vehicle trips per day from our local roads. On top of that, many of our residents are going to be able to live without the expense or hassle of a car. It will mark a sea change in how people get around our city. One thing I want to make clear is that I will fight to ensure the Green Line extension connects to a reliable transit system. We all know the T is suffering from a maintenance backlog, and I'm joining with municipal leaders throughout the region to demand dramatic improvements to service. People's livelihoods rely on efficient public transit. City government needs to be a vocal advocate for residents suffering regular transportation disruptions. We will not sit back and take the view that's a state level problem and we can't do anything about it. It's not who we are. And that goes double for fighting back against the rising cost of housing. In the past two years, we have established an Office of Housing Stability to help those in danger of losing their homes, revised our condo conversion ordinance, launched a housing land trust to increase our stock of affordable homes, relaunched our lead paint removal program to expand the housing stock available to families with children, regulated short-term rentals, passed a transfer fee on real estate speculation, and crossed the midway point for our 100 homes program. We now have 438 new affordable units since 2010, with more than 300 in the pipeline over the next couple of years. I also led a regional coalition of 15 cities and towns to commit to 185,000 new units of housing by 2030. Somerville is setting the standard on housing action for our region, and we have no intention of slowing down on this front. We still need to pass new zoning, gain approval for our transfer fee at the State House, create an emergency rent stabilization program, implement a right to purchase program, and establish affordable housing overlay districts in former industrial areas. Affordability is a big and daunting problem, and we are coming at it with everything we've got. Over the years, we've been told we never get the Green Line extension, never get a new high school, never redevelop Assembly Square, never lower crime in such a diverse population, and never improve an urban school system. We proved the naysayers wrong about all that. When I first became mayor, many thought new public parks were a folly. Now 98% of our residents live within walking distance of a public park. We do what others don't think is possible because we're a city that's never forgotten. We're in this together. You can see the tangible results of it all around us. We now have housing, transportation, climate action, and battling the opioid crisis 
at the top of our agenda. I have every confidence we'll tackle all of that because I know the heart of this community. So I ask for your vote as mayor because I've always recognized when you appeal to the best in Somerville, extraordinary things can happen. Thank you.